Good afternoon. Welcome to the channel. Rick and I are on a small lake in the uh, Emily Cross Lake area. It's a lake I grew up fishing in my youth from shore. Uh, we filmed here last year. I think we made 13, but barely. Lots of pound and a halfers, as I recall. But in the past, caught some decent ones out here. Up to four pounds. So hopefully we can find some of those better fish today. Who knows what's going to happen. It's fall. Water temps are in the low the mid 50s 55 degrees or so uh, gonna be scattered clouds uh, rain this morning we're not out until about noon we're gonna get started here about noon rain this morning it was you know 30 to 34 degrees or whatever when we got up and rain so we decided to wait until it passed so we'll see if we can't figure something out thanks so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll get started here in a minute USB port to plug in a USB microphone. Yep. Here's a fish. What is it? Bass, huh? Little guy. I think he may. No way. That's what we're gonna catch about a thousand of those. Number one, it's a 1.36. Rick catches that on a little square bill while I'm pulling my rods out. Fishing a flat here. That's number one. This stupid thing. I hate dealing with treble hooks for that exact reason right there. Same deal. Might not even be as big. No, he's smaller, I think. One point zero three on a square bill. Rick's on fire. I don't even know what brand this square bill is. It's one that I pilfered out of Mark's uh, tackle box and never gave back to him. It's in kind of a perch color but it works it works very well just whacking them out there huh? this one feels a little bit bigger not a lot yeah it's the same sh you fooled me Like the first one. One 
25 square mill. Rick's on fire. Oh, shoot. Oh man, why can't these all be three pounders? Because <laughs> it's a dink lake. One point one zero, that's fish number four. Man, that's brutal. That's brutal. Thankfully, with our size limit, we at least have five pounds when we get goal number one. <laughs> front hook was in the top of the mouth, the other hook wasn't even in. That's good. Except now when I'm trying to pull it out. I'm getting it. Then it goes in. That's pretty typical. Nope, got him. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what this lake got in it. Get three of these, four of these, I'll be happy. It's a 3.30 on the square bill for me. Using my favorite little Springcroft fat boy by Norman. He inhaled that bad boy. Takes us all the way to 8.06. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so uh, we're on our way. Double digits is in sight. Rid of that little 1.01 1 .01 or whatever the heck it was. But it ain't gonna help much. I'm gonna get to eight and a, and a quarter. <laughs> Boy, he fought hard. He. He, he wanted to be big. Yeah, I had one that 1.32, 1.32. 1 
on the Norman, uh, 8.35, 8.35. <clears throat> at least a one two I could slash on them from a pike I could be wrong another call for Rick it's a 1.21 1 1.21 1 .21. oh boy all the way up 846 8.46 Almost got eight and a half pounds. Huh? You mean you think it might not, not have been a fish at all? Yeah. I just reeled up and it was tight, so I set the hook, and then it felt good. Same thing or a little better? It's better. A little better. Maybe mine was a fish. That's a pound and a half again. That'll get rid of another one, three. We'll get almost a, we might get uh, to nine pounds. Nine pounds. I don't think it's even a pound and a half now that I look at it. It's a 1.74 on the jig. Rick caught him on the jig. Uh, all the way up 9.25 so only three quarters of a pound from double digits come on let's get it going He might be a pound, a third though. I'll we'll have to check him out here. Might get another quarter of a pound on that side. I think he's one five. One point six seven. They're fat in this lake. They're Short and fat, all the way up. Nine point six one. Nine point six one. Catching him on an eco rig. Kind of got off the end of this uh, point here. There's some weeds on it. Fishing off the deep side. There's a bunch of fish. They're just not good ones. So they're not two pounders. But hoping, hopefully, we can stumble into one here. Little guy in yellow. Does it feel a little better? Feels a little better. Two pounder, come on. Oh yeah, that's two. That that calls. Yeah. Fish of the day. Yeah. 2.66 on the jungle jig. Rick's, Rick's jigging them up on the end of this weed line here. T takes up to 10.91. 10.91 double digits were made.
better one? Yeah. Yes. Hit it while I was swimming it back in. Nice. Yeah. Maybe a swim jig is taken. Well, I threw mine a little bit, but they are eating. Two point five three on the jungle jig again. Eleven point nine two. Eleven point nine two. Two more of those, Randy. Right? We need two more like that. This one's going to. If it's if a. It's, if it's not a pike. If it's a bass. If it's not a pike, it's going to pull. Please don't be a pike. It's a nice one. Yes! Three pounder. Damn close to it anyhow. Yes! Boy, look at the size of the mouth on that thing. Yep. It's got a small body but a big mouth. Well, I need to do this. Yeah, definitely. Just in case we want to put him in the thumbnail. Yeah, of course, I had the sun in back of me, so I won't be able to see it. Oh, yeah, maybe I could get him in the thumbnail over here. <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> thumb in there. <laughs> gonna weigh my thumb? I'd like to. It's gotta be over three. Yeah. Big fish of the day for Rick on the jig, a 3.37. All the way up to 13.62. Yes. So that gets our second goal of 13 pounds. Now we got to work on 14. We got uh, we got one that's just like a pound and three quarters. So if we can get another two and a quarter, two and a half, we'll make our we'll make 14. So our evening is done here on this Cross Lake Emily area lake. We're a short bike ride from my. Uh, summer cabin that my parents used to own and uh, used to fish this lake a lot and it did not disappoint the numbers of bass in here are unreal this is this is where I fished bass almost every summer for from the shore mostly uh, used to just catch tons and tons of bass and and uh, we did the same today we probably caught 50 60 bass unfortunately most of them were in that pound and three quarter to little over a pound in size ended up with only four fish over two pounds uh, ended up with 13.62 so we made our first two goals just could not get anything of any size going caught the two biggest fish they were both right around that three and a third pound mark caught both of those on uh, kind of medium depth depth uh, weeds with a next to a little bit of a sharper break one was caught on a jig and one was caught on a square bill and the rest of the fish were caught on basically anything we threw we could catch them on a nico rig we could catch them on a drop shot we could catch them on a crankbait catch them on a jig catch them on a plastic worm i mean it just whatever we wanted to throw we could catch them we just couldn't get the big ones so it was a success we had a good time it was a beautiful day for fishing when it wasn't blowing and uh Rick and I had a really excellent time catching fish and reliving some memories from the past, so it was pretty great. So I want to thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the water next time.